<coughs> now we'll look at its entry techniques. The idea of entering in is to get control of somebody's arm. Mm -hmm. Probably the most difficult area of the fight to enter. This is why we're looking at using the man so the inquisitive arm, the asking hand. I'm asking for a hand to come in, for to control it, to do something with it. Mm -hmm. When you're entering in, what you're really looking for is a fight. Now we're in the distance where we're not in a fight. Yeah. Once you come to this distance where we're going to both touch, now this is your fighting range, this is your contact range, this is where mm -hmm. we're going to start hitting each other, right? Mm -hmm. So we're stepping out from there, from at this point, that what it means is that I can't hit you, you can't hit me. Mm -hmm. Out of range. If you go to punch, I can see you, I'm going to move, I'm going to shift. Mm -hmm. Again, you've got to remember that this sort of range, with one technique, you can't hit it. Mm -hmm. and on the same side of it, with one technique, if I go to punch and you protect yourself, mm -hmm. I can't hit you. Mm -hmm. Because no matter how fast my arms are, my body won't be able to travel that fast. Yeah. It's only once I'm into this range where the simple arm movement can hit you that, that hand speed means anything. Mm -hmm. From there, that you won't be able to do anything about that. Kind of From here, I can't because I've got to make my body move first, yeah. to get it to get my arm in the range to use it. Mm -hmm. So what I'm really looking at is so I've, I take into account the fact that I don't think my first hand technique is going to work. Right. I'm using the asking hand now. Initially, if you've got no respect for the person, or if you don't think they're any good, you can just step straight in with the asking hand to there. Right. Just to step straight into it. Mm -hmm. Because the lane is the quickest. Right. If then, but if you're any good, you can block that. Now, I'm in a fairly weak position here. I'm stuck in a fairly weak position. If you could, because you could just lap, lap, lap. Now take grab it, do a control lap. Grab on onto it. Now, I haven't got any leverage in this way. Right. to do anything about that. I'm falling this way straight away. To prevent that, what I can then do is to come in at an angle here. So if I, if I come in to an angle here, so again I'm up, and you try to lap, it's much more difficult for you now. Now we're fairly equal. Right. I mean, much, I'm, much, I'm in a stronger position. As far as trying to pull in the stand. As far as structure. Right. So what I want to do is I want to move to here, so I can come at you at, a, at an angle that's more beneficial to me. Right. Now what happens is, if I step to here, what do you do? Then so it makes no difference. So if I come into you here, so you lap, lap again, I'm back in the same place. Right. I've got no structure, I've got no strength. So what I'm looking at is, so I want to get across to here, but I don't want you to shift. I want you to look at that, so there, so this is where the distraction is coming in. Now, so my arm is coming out into this line. Mm -hmm. So what I can do is, this comes out first, so as I move, this comes out first and I'm shifting. So I'm moving to this point. Mm -hmm. So I'm stopping it here. Now I'm coming in after it, behind it, right. immediately. I'll run through it slow, but it doesn't mean to say you have the time. From here, as this comes out, this, yeah. I'm getting I'm getting you to register an attack. Very as you already as you put your defence up, I am then shifting. I am not in the same place. My hand is actually coming off the same line, right. but my body's now shifted. He weights onto this leg. Right. Now this makes me right leg mobile. I now want to get to here because it's at this point that I'm in a strong structural position again. Mm. But in between time, but if I wait for there to there, to even if I do it fast, even if I do it there, you can change. I need to distract your mind. Now, what we're looking at now is there. Mm. So what I'm actually doing is I'm coming out to here, so I'm coming out with the distraction, getting to here, now, as this leg's getting there, 
if you come up to cover yourself, and then you fold cover it in. Right. I'm going to take the hand. Now that's opening you up for a strike. Mm -hmm. What I don't do is I don't do this. Right. Because of that, I need the coverage. We've been through lap packs yeah. before. I don't have to go through them again. Mm -hmm. The main thing is the stretch step, stretch step, now mm -hmm. I'm in a position to then use the structure off the floor. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, it's, it's like, if you want to try to break it down into a series of moves, it would be one, two, initiate three, four, five, into position, six, seven, or whatever, from that, then leading in from there. I'm now into a structurally strong position to use my energy off the floor. Mm -hmm. Up to that point, arm speed, bit of turning energy, it's only once I get to a position that I can use the structure off the floor, mm -hmm. then maximize the strength in here, the use of mm -hmm. structure. So there's this idea of going off. Realistically, it's just to here, before flying. Yeah. But you've got to be able to break that down. It's no good shifting and then throwing the arm out. No. It's no destruction, is it? Because then all you do is you follow us. It's no good throwing the arm out and then shifting, because again, so you, your, your brain will be able to use the two pieces of information. No the hand stopped, right then it's moved, plus the fact that split second delay, if you view then step, if you view up and then step, okay, do it again. I can lap you. It's got to be done immediately. You've got to do things straight away. you got to... Again, now I'm in a structurally weak position. Your hand has moved out under this leg. If you continue out with your energy, as I try to, to get around you, I'm off balance. I can't do it. So now we're going to, we're going to change. We're going to change the leg. So I'm coming out with this, but that's going to there. There's no longer, there's no point in me trying to get on this outside of you. It would mean making another body move. Right. To get which, is too, which is too slow. So what I've got to look at now is this idea of coming on the inside, using the view to cover. So from here, if there's energy out, then I'm, I'm coming inside of it. Mm -hmm. Because it's this idea. Because that's what a lot of, a lot of people will do will do that, no, react, that, no, no, go out, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm to always told it to come straight out, I'm telling you, most people react by going out, this way. so if I come this way to do that, no, so that's difficult to get around, so you don't try, you come back and say, yeah. I distract, I get there, now I'm in a wrong position, now here, my elbow is threatened, so I'm covering it with a view underneath, so I'm viewing out. Now, the next step is the tense. With your hand position there, I need to control that hand. Mm. I can't just take it. There, I will control it here. I have to come outside of it. On the outside of your hand, to take it in. You come in again. With your hand here, I get straight straight out, but again, I couldn't, you could straight. Will be equal, but you'll be stronger because we be on the outside of it. Yeah. I need a controller, so I'm looking at that position there. Mm -hmm. Now I've got control over you on the inside. You're in a stronger position as far as defence is concerned. I'm in a stronger position as far as attacks concerned. Right. Again, when we're looking at chi sound, this is why when you're doing chi sound, normally you roll with one on the inside, one mm -hmm. on the outside. So you're yeah, equal. Mm -hmm. On the inside, you've got a greater ability to hit. On the outside, you've got a greater ability to control. Mm -hmm.